guys what's up welcome to your reading all right the first card we do have is the ace of swords here uh this is telling me that overall there is going to be some kind of communication that is going to be coming in communication coming in from someone else or this could just be inner clarity okay clarity about what this could be clarity about um a past person i'm getting more of a past person out here usually that's when the ace of swords comes in you know because it's like that's when the harsh reality hits in now the ace of swords is an energy when whatever truth whatever truthful communication or whatever inner clarity that you get you gotta use your logic which is what you're gonna do for the first 10 days of november i think you're gonna be very logical about whatever's going on in your connection here this could be communication that is even coming in okay but this could be cutting through bullshit also and also having a brand new start either with this person after getting the clarity or the kind of clarity that you get you choose not to be with this person and move on okay we're going to apply for the ace of swords tell me what's the ace of swords what's the ace of swords here what is this ace of swords here apply for the ace of swords wow strength so whatever clarity is going to come in right i think there's going to be a lot of communication back and forth here because we have the eight of wands here so i feel at least for a lot of you whoever that there is no communication between you both here if things are stuck stagnant and you feel nothing's moving forward it's gonna pick it's gonna pick up out of nowhere it's gonna be unexpected uh, a lot of online communication here okay uh but yeah with the strength here i feel whatever communication is going to come in you're going to resist it I think you're going to resist it because this communication, you, like I said, did I say that before? Whatever communication is coming in, this could be a past person out here. This could also be online communication with a lot of other people that you're talking to. Intuitively, I feel this is a past person out here that you have um, probably uh, cut this person out or they'll be giving you the silent treatment here. There is communication coming in from this person out here, but when this communication comes in, there's going to be a lot of resistance from your side. You know, it's like, no, you're going to push it away. Instead of embracing it, you're going to push it away. Why? Because I think there is some kind of realization. There's some kind of, um, like I said, right? Inner clarity that you have that either you don't want this person anymore or the truth and clarity that you have after you guys have grown apart, you realize you just don't want to be with them anymore. And maybe they're not the best person for you. Okay. For the middle 10 days of November, you have the Knight of Swords. You have more communication coming in. Now, <clears throat> the Knight of Swords can be two things. Either this is someone who's coming in towards you. Okay. But this Knight of Swords is a very argumentative energy. Okay. So whoever's coming towards you, right? I'm getting here the first 10 days, you cut them off. You don't want to talk to them. You hold back the communication. The second 10 days, I feel that uh, the middle 10 days, I feel this person is going to push themselves towards you. When this person pushes themselves towards you, right? I feel there's going to be some kind of argument. Okay. The Knight of Swords is not really a romantic energy. It's someone who lacks intimacy. Someone here who's just acts without thinking, which is what is going to happen for the uh, middle 10 days. What's the Knight of Swords here? What's the Knight of Swords? So there is going to be some kind of change, some kind of opportunity that's coming towards you in your love life. Knight of Swords, please. Knight of Swords. I have two cards. See, someone who misses you, right, is coming back. We have the Five of Pentacles here. So uh, this is someone who feels left out in the cold. Uh, there could have been a temporary separation or breakup between you guys, or it couldn't have been so temporary. Or maybe... Um, this person made you feel left out of the cold or this person. I'm getting more like you're dealing with someone who feels left out in the cold. You could be giving them the cold shoulder. Uh, this person could uh, just, it's a very really lack mentality, right? So they feel they're not good enough for you and they want you. So you're dealing with someone here who's very, very immature. And every single time they fall into the rut, they expect you to pull them back. Seven of Swords. Someone here is wanting to come back towards you in the middle 10 days of November. Here. I told you, right? There is some communication now i'm getting here with the ace of swords here now that i'm looking at the cards it's more like a breakthrough in communication okay where someone's gonna be like hey what's up and this person hasn't spoken to you for a very long time okay so whatever communication is coming in i feel you're going to be looking at that communication in a very logical point of view instead of being emotional okay and whoever's coming back towards you with the seven of swords here this person is sneaking back into your life okay they have a hidden agenda out here let's see queen of wands they're very um attractive towards you very attractive very sexual energy very very attractive towards you 
but you're in your power okay so i feel that you don't give a shit to them you're more like i realize my worth i realize my value so you're in that very confident state of mind right now and this person who's coming back with this sneaky energy look at them with the five of pentacles and seven of swords here this is why they feel the need to push into your life okay because you're not interested in talking to them right so it's like they are going to have to push their way through to talk to you or to initiate any kind of communication with you okay so Guys, just let me know, okay, in the comments below if this happens. I mean, it can be a little one or two days back and forth, but this is what I feel. It's a general energy out here, but I'd really love to know if this really happens. Okay, uh, the last three days, uh, the last ten days of November, two of Pentacles. I feel that there is going to be a decision that you're going to have to make about your love life. Decision in many ways. Either you want to be with this person who's coming in towards you, could be an ex. I feel this is an ex here, but someone you had a very bad ending with, someone or a breakup with. So you're going to have to make a decision here. But I think the decision is not going to be made. You're still going to be juggling, you know, about the decision about, do you want to still be back with this person? Do you not want to? Uh, do you want to explore more options or do you want to stay safe? Blah, blah, blah. But a lot of weighing pros and cons. But I don't feel by the end of November, you still will be juggling. You'll be taking both the options with you together. But you won't make a choice is what I'm getting here. But there are choices that you need to make. And you're going to be weighing out your pros and cons. Like, is this person good for me? Has this person changed? You know, there could be a lot of, um, you know, um, considering, okay, from your side. So I don't feel you may not want to walk away. Few of you could walk away. A few of you would still be uh, wondering, okay. It's more like um, you're still not choosing, but you're calculating, you know. Um, you're wanting to probably uh, rethink or take a second opinion, okay. Uh, to yourself or probably even ask other people out here but i feel that there is still going to be um, a lot of juggling okay no decision is going to be made but you're going to have two options in the uh, last 10 days of november and you're not going to be making this making a decision but you're still going to be like back and forth two of pentacles what is this clarify this two of pentacles two of pentacles please what's the clar clarify the two of pentacles The lovers here. Okay, so I do feel that you're going to be very control. You're going to be controlling your life. Look who we got here, bottom of the deck. That's you, Aries. So you're going to be very, very rigid. I feel that you're going to be very rigid. You're going to be like, you know what, my way or the highway. I feel that whoever this person is has hurt you really bad. Okay. And this person probably even being in the relationship, maybe this person was deceptive. Maybe this person left you out in the cold, made you feel very lonely in the relationship here. You're going to have to make a choice. Now, when the lovers comes in, this is could be a choice about commitment. This could be very, very important, life-changing, significant decisions that you have to make. Again, I don't see you making a choice by the end of November, but you're going to be at a crossroads here. Now, for a lot of you, I'm getting that there are two people that you have. One is going to be probably a new person, okay? And then there's going to be this past person coming back towards you, which is why you're going to have to make a choice to want this person or not. I feel that overall, you're not going to be making any decision like I'm getting here. It's a very no action intention. It's more like, you know what, let me think logically, you know. You're going to be pushing, suppressing your emotions if you have any left for this past person out here. But there's no choice being made here, okay. Because this choice is more like, do I want to be with this person again and start this entire experience? Because your past experiences could be holding you back from this person here. If this is not an old person and there's a new person coming in, that this is more like, do I want to commit to this person? Do I want to be with this person forever? Is this person aligned with my values? Okay. Are we both on the same page here? Okay. But I do feel that uh, even if there's no new person coming in, even if you're okay and single on your own here, you're still going to be contemplating, do I want to enjoy my single life? Or do I want to go back to my ex who was toxic? 